you want to know how good the image stabilization is on the Sony a7R5, then stick around and let's take a look. Sony make the crazy claims that this will have eight stops of stabilization. So what does that actually mean? Well, firstly, it only works with the lenses that have OSS, optical stabilization. So what is IRIS? In-body image stabilization. So it's five axes. It's the up and down side to side movement. The roll, the pitch and the pad are all smoothed out. What's the eight stops mean? Well, in photographic terms, if this is, for example, set at 100 millimeter, then if I have my shutter speed at 100th, I should get a nice sharp image. Slow it down much more than that, and I might have camera shake and get a soft focus image. If I've got one stop down from 100th of a second, that would be 150th. Eight stops of stabilization, but at 100 mil, I'm going to be around one second handheld that's definitely going to shake that's definitely going to be a soft image so i've tried that photographing this little remote control to see what that looks like and i've done a comparison using this 85 millimeter lens that's not oss and we're just going to have a look at those comparisons okay so it's all very well for photographers. It means they don't have to boot up their ISO and they can get a much better quality image and shoot in low light. What about for us videographers? Well, let's take this outside and I'm gonna try it now with the 85mm lens, with the 24 to 105, and then I'll try that on the gimbal and we're gonna compare that to the A7C. Let's have a look at what that's like. To really put this Sony A7R5 to the test with the 24-105 OSS lens on the gimbal, we're going to do some running around shots to really see how it works out. So let's give that a go. <laughs> I think that was fascinating trying out the different lenses on the different bodies and making those comparisons so we can really see what's going on with these lenses and this stabilization in the a7r5 so drop a note in the comments if there's any other things you want to know about the a7r5 and subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next one